Hi. Today we're going to talk about conjugates. Now conjugates are a real special math trick that we can use in a variety of algebraic situations. They're sort of like a get out of jail free card. If we're faced with a difficult mathematical problem, we can often use conjugates to make our life a whole lot easier. Everything from solving complex algebraic equations to in word, in word problems and, and factoring, conjugates are your best friend. You can see a complicated problem, and if you look carefully, you'll find that you can use a conjugate. And that makes that problem so very simple. So, what is a conjugate? Well, a conjugate is when we change the sign in the middle of two terms. So, if we're dealing with 3x plus 1, the conjugate of 3x plus 1 would be changing this sign here. So, it would be 3x minus 1. Right? We use this... Uh, only when dealing with expressions with two terms, which we call binomials. Uh, bi meaning two and no meaning a number or term. Right? So let's, let's, let's see some more examples of, of conjugates. So if I was given x squared minus 3, the conjugate of that would be changing the sign. That would be x squared plus 3. If I was given a plus b, the conjugate of that would be changing the sign, or a minus b. If I was given a minus b cubed, I change the sign, a plus b cubed. And that, that all seems pretty simple. And you might be wondering, well, that seems so easy. Why are conjugates important? Why would we ever need to know about these or use these? Well, the conjugate can be very useful because when we multiply something by its conjugate, let's say I'm multiplying a plus b by its conjugate or a minus b, and I just read this out, so that's a squared minus a b plus b a minus b squared, I get a squared minus b squared. So when we multiply something by its conjugate, we get squares like this. Now you might be saying, okay, that may be somewhat interesting, but how does that help us? Well, it can help us move a square root from the bottom of a fraction or the top or vice versa. So say we were given a, something like this, one over 3 minus the square root of 2, and we were asked to rationalize the denominator. Well, we do that by using conjugates. If we multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of this, in this case, 3 plus the square root of 2, we'll get rid of this square root, this irrational number, because we'll be left with uh, this on the top, and we'll left be uh, the square of this, which is 9, minus the square of this, which is just 2. Right, so we're left with a rational number in our denominator of our fraction. And if we were to simplify this out further, we get 3 plus the square root of 2 over 7. We've rationalized our denominator, we've simplified our fraction. And guess what? It's, it's, it's the exact same process. So try to remember this little trick because it may help you solve an equation or an entire problem. That's it. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you have a great day.